Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. This is actually my first TED event ever, so despite the smile, I'm actually really, really scared right now. <laughs> I'm here today to share with you all what I've been doing now for the last year. It's a story of learning, of forging connections with incredible people, and most importantly, it's a story of bamboo bicycles. This tale begins with a problem, one that's both big and small in nature. There are a lot of bad things going on in our world today. Global climate change looms large as perhaps the greatest threat we have ever faced. In the aftermath of this election, it is clear to see that there's more that divides than unites us in America. As individuals, and particularly as a young person coming of age in this time period, the challenges we face can feel insurmountable. What is the point of even trying? This sensation, the sense of helplessness and passivity, and the disconnect that accompanies it, these are the challenges that I want to talk about today. I'm naturally a pretty introverted person. Into high school, I struggled to forge connections with those around me. Even as someone outwardly social, I was on the crew team and friendly with many people. I didn't always feel as though these relationships were that genuine. And as I considered complex issues from, you know, who was going out with who to this past election, I often felt powerless. Even when I got by this initial sensation and tried to tackle a problem, I would think in huge terms and end up never completing what I set out to do. My solution was to wall myself off from those around me in as inconspicuous a manner as possible. But in doing so, I realized that I was ignoring the problem. To be an active part of the solution, I would need to build a bridge rather than a wall. During my sophomore year of high school, I spent a semester studying abroad in China. I had a great time, and as I neared the end of my stay, I began to think about ways in which I could incorporate my experience back into life in Brookline. While abroad, I met David Wang, an alum from my high school and the founder of Bamboo Bicycles Beijing, or BBB. Located in the traditional alleyways of Beijing, BBB offers two-day workshops teaching participants how to build their own bicycle out of bamboo. The goal is to rebuild the city's bike culture. Seeing the workshop space, these vehicles, and the way people interacted with each other there kindled an interest in here that refused to disappear. What would it be like to see one of these bikes in Fenway, on the common, or perhaps riding down Beacon Street? Back in Boston, I reached out to David, who had also returned to continue his education. He told me how he hoped to run a bike building workshop at MIT over their winter term, and how he was looking for a partner to help organize and lend a hand at the workshop. I jumped at the opportunity. Soon I was researching where to buy bamboo in the US. Speaking with suppliers, I learned how bamboo can grow to maturity in just four years, how it's so strong that it's been used as scaffolding throughout much of Asia, and how it can grow almost anywhere in the world. I even connected, to, connected with and spoke to the president of the American Bamboo Society. <laughs> and yeah, there's an American Bamboo Society. Who would have known? <laughs> At that point, I was excited by the big picture, enamored with these sexy bikes and the idea of a social enterprise. But I still didn't really know almost anything about building a bamboo bicycle. In January, I finally got to participate in my first workshop. Seeing these vehicles begin to take shape, I finally began to realize what building your own bicycle is all about. At the beginning of a workshop, a nervous group of people ranging in age, experience, and values come together. There's that awkward quietness that can only be associated with the first day at any job or school. We all know it. But over the course of those two days, something remarkable happens. People get dirty, sawdust on pants, gluey hands. They begin to talk and collaborate while building their bike. They make mistakes and then work to find solutions. Seeing this, I realized that you build more than just a personalized, and in my opinion, crazy cool bicycle over the course of two days. The process itself provides a platform for people to come together and create meaningful and powerful connections. In addition to this sense of community, the process of building gives individuals a sense of competence and confidence you just built your own bicycle with these very two hands. 
If you can create your own vehicle, you can do anything. I was hooked. Soon after, I began coordinating with David and took a larger role in organizing our next workshop. I located a space, the Brookline Teen Center, ordered supplies, and managed advertising. In April, we ran another successful workshop, building four more bamboo bikes. I also joined David and a team of individuals who had all been touched by these bikes and applied for MIT Ideas Global Challenge Grant to fund a fellowship program at the Bamboo Bicycles Beijing workshop over the summer. We won and all of a sudden, I had a ticket back to China, booked for June. Yet, to be honest, I was still just kind of faking it all. As David would tell me, the next step was simply to build my own bamboo bike. But this wasn't simple for me. I didn't know how to build a bike. I had never made anything in my life before. I never even used a saw before that first workshop in January. When I first attempted to build my bike following our April workshop, I would constantly stall every time I didn't know precisely what to do. I was afraid to make mistakes, yet refused to reach out and seek help or ask questions. That bicycle, which should have taken me two days to build, stretched into a three-month project as I fiddled and procrastinated, unsure of what step to take next. Building it required me to rewire my own brain. It required me to start asking questions, to problem solve with my mind and hands, and to create an object that I had only ever dreamed of before. When it turned out that I had made a mistake while reinforcing the bike's strength and would have to throw it away, I was utterly devastated. But I took that failure in stride, and upon my arrival to Beijing in June, I learned not only how to build my own bamboo bicycle, but how to teach others to build their own as well. In Beijing, not only did I gain skills I had never had before, I met incredible people who demonstrated to me that taking ownership of your own bicycle then extends outward, and how by taking this small initial action, building a bamboo bicycle, people feel emboldened to think creatively about challenges, act on their ideas, and then share this with others. Dan Gao, a young woman from northern China, came to the internationally flavored Bamboo Bicycles Beijing a couple years before I did. She didn't know any English and had never even ridden a bicycle before. But the workshop space and everything involved in it just made sense to her. Now, not only does Dan Gao have literally the coolest bamboo bicycle ever, <laughs> she's also the workshop manager in Beijing. Over the summer, Danga was my greatest inspiration. Her willingness to challenge herself by coming in with literally zero bicycle experience and no English skills had a huge impact on me, a student in both bike building and Mandarin. I saw the impact that building your own bicycle can have on individuals' lives. Sunny created a community mural. Jason built a bamboo stress tester. Karen began soldering her own bike light. Seeing these awesome projects, I realized that what attracted me to bamboo bicycles had changed. No longer was it the sex appeal of these bikes or the idea of a social enterprise. Rather, it was the ability to teach others. When I can share this creative process with others and connect using bamboo bicycles, that is when value is added. Already, we've begun to see huge development in Boston. Since I reached out to David a year ago, we've taught over 40 people and built 22 bamboo bikes. We partnered with the Brookline Teen Center and several other incredible teens to create the first communal, multifunctional makerspace designed by and for Brookline youth right down the road. Projects in the space range from engineering classes led by high school students for middle schoolers to Lego robotics, a greenhouse, and of course, bike building. Right now, you might be wondering, what's the point of this talk? Why would this kid who's trying to balance bike building with school and maybe squeeze in his college applications on the side, take on a TED talk. I mean, you guys are pretty frightening, if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to answer that with a short story. In Beijing this past summer, I lived with my good friend, Jason Huang, pictured here, in this two-room apartment. And we loved the space, but it was also kind of falling apart a little bit. Anyway. I wake up one morning, and I hear this banging sound, and I can't find Jason anywhere. And as it turned out, he'd gotten up earlier in the morning to go to the bathroom, and shutting the door behind him, the handle had gotten jammed, and he'd been locked inside for, I don't know, like 
maybe an hour. I was asleep, so I, I have no idea. <laughs> so there we were, seven in the morning, bleary-eyed. I was on one side in my PJs. Jason was on the other side in his tidy whiteies, and we were beginning to freak out. <laughs> do we call David? Do we call the police? What could we possibly do? And that's when I realized we didn't need anyone else. We could take action ourselves. Looking around, I located the few tools we did have at our, dis at our disposal, and then working together, Jason and I basically unhinged the entire frame from the door <laughs> and freed him. <laughs> the hug that followed was the best one ever, just so you guys know. My point is that building your own bicycle empowers individuals to take agency over their own lives and action in their communities. It allows participants to think creatively and connect with others despite perceived differences. And so now I'd like to invite you all to join me. Together, let's concentrate on the small actions. Together, let's turn Bamboo Bicycles Boston from an idea into a reality, one bike at a time. Thank you all so much. Yeah.